Hey guys, and welcome back to another crafty tutorial. I am Megan from meganplus5.com, um, and today I wanna to talk about spray painting styrofoam. Um, a little while ago, I had posted a video about um, kind of making over one of these um, Dollar Tree pumpkins, sorry, mom brain here, uh, making over one of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. And in the process, I had spray painted it prior to um, making it all super cute with some spray paint. Uh, well, one of our subscribers commented on it and wanted to know if the styrofoam or the paint that we used melted the styrofoam and it did not. So that got me thinking, well, maybe I should do a whole video on um, spray painting styrofoam, specifically spray painting the styrofoam pumpkins, just to kind of show you guys like what kind of paint you can use and what you can't use. And honestly, this is kind of an experiment for me because I have not used all of these paints on these styrofoam pumpkins. Um, I've used the, um, the fancier spray paints, if you will, not these cheaper versions like this one. So we will see how these turn out. So I'm kind of anxious. So what we're gonna do in this experiment is we're going to spray paint the coated styrofoam, which of these styrofoam pumpkins that you buy at the Dollar Tree, these are coated already before you get them. They're coated in this orange paint. I don't know what exactly it is. It's paint of some kind. Um, and then we're also gonna spray these non-coated styrofoam things um, to see what the, the outcome would be for both of those. All right, so for this little experiment, we're going to spray the coated pumpkins. I don't know what kind of paint it's coated in, but it's coated in something. And then we're also going to spray these, um, I'm assuming they're non-coated styrofoam blocks that we get um, with our packaging. So we're going to see what the different outcome is for both of these with these different paints. Now, realistically, what we would want to do is um, tape off the different sections so that we can see exactly what it does with all the different paints, but I'm not going to do that. I'm mama four. I don't have time for that. This is just a fun experiment. Um, so I will show you the paint that we use and then I will spray it on the things and then we'll see what it does to use this color place one first and we're just gonna spray okay so it doesn't seem to be melting the styrofoam at all um, the coverage is not great on it, but it's not melting. Um, I mean, you can definitely see the divots. It's not a primer. This kind of paint is not, it doesn't have any primer in it, so it's not going to have a very good coverage on it. All right, let's see what it does to the non-coated styrofoam. Of course, the wind's going to spray. All right, so you can definitely tell that this does eat the regular styrofoam. See? Let's put them up next to each other. This one is not, it's not melting, and this one totally is. You can, I mean, I don't even have to touch it, you can see it, I'm sure. All right, let's keep going though. This, um, this has a primer in it. I'm guessing that it is, well, I don't know. It says it bonds to plastic, but I'm guessing it's probably gonna melt the non-coated styrofoam. Okay. She will do it right here. And I will say, I really like the Rust-Oleum paints because they have really great coverage on them. All right, so it's just kind of settling in to um, like the divots where all the holes are. You can see like there's, you can see that um, texture in there. Uh, and that's what these little holes are. It's just settling into that texture. Okay, so now let's spray it on this styrofoam. So here's the, the one that we did with the um, color place white. So I'm gonna actually it's got some overspray. I'm going to go on the other side where none of this white touched and see what it does. Okay. And it looks like it is melting it as well. I guess dissolving is really a better word. You can see. Try this chalk paint. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, 
we bought this and I didn't like it when we first used it. It had a really weird consistency, so it still might. I don't know, maybe I just didn't shake it up enough. I have no idea. So we'll see how it does. Let's move that over there. Okay. Okay. So this is the chalk paint on there. And it honestly, it doesn't have that great of coverage for it being chalk paint. It has better coverage than um, the color place did, but it still doesn't have as good a coverage as I would have expected. All right, let's move that. Actually, we'll leave that there. See what it does. I can see that it's starting to kind of bubble in certain spots there. My shadow is totally over that. Um, but it actually didn't do too bad. Let me spray up close. Try to cover up. Get a good, good coat on there. Hmm. Yep, it's eating it, but it actually doesn't do as bad of a job. Let's try another one of these color places. We'll use this black one. Oh, yep, I was totally wrong. Here's the chalk paint. Um, it is just destroying it. But I painted way too much in that spot, so of course um, that area is gonna have a lot more damage than any of the others. But where I went lightly, it didn't do too bad of a job as far as it dissolving the paint or the styrofoam. Okay. Okay. Yeah, again, the coverage on these, um, on these color place paints aren't, isn't very good. This one. Okay, so we just kind of gave it a really light coat on there. The wind is going crazy here. Yeah, I can't tell. So yeah, you can definitely tell it is already um, going at it on this with um, dissolving it. Um, I totally broke the lid. I have not used this in a really, really, really long time. And I did not remember that you have to actually um, peel this or not peel it, uh, take this up with a screwdriver. So I tried to get it and I totally broke it. So let me grab something um, to pry this open with. Oh, it looks really cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like super, super shimmery. Um, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's doing anything besides painting it with this looking glass one. All right, let's try it on this. All right, yep, that is like instant. Um, that doesn't work on there at all. Okay, this is my last one, and it does have the paint and the primer in it. So let's try it on the pumpkin real quick up here. Well, we'll try it on the bottom here, where there's really... All right, it doesn't look like it's doing too much of anything. And then we'll put it on this because there, we don't really have any paint on that part. And I'll even go, let's go really dark on there. Yep, and you can see that it's... 
So if you're gonna spray paint styrofoam, be sure that it has some kind of coating on it already, because otherwise your project is gonna end up like this and it's gonna have a bunch of divots in it and it's gonna look like it melted. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them below. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And then for even more crafty tutorials, visit meganplus5.com. See you later.